I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Today on this tutorial we are going to add custom music to our player home in Skyrim. So the first thing you're going to need is a couple of programs. I will stick these in the description. Um, you can go ahead and download Audacity. It is free. Uh, you can use any audio editing software that you want but since audacity is free that's great and then you're going to want to head over to the fallout 4 nexus and pick up multi xwm um you just download it just like always with mods or whatever just manual download and then you can install it anywhere that you want all right, that covers the programs that you're going to need. Now you're going to need music. Um, you can find your music anywhere you find it. Um, it can be MP3 or Wave or whatever. So you can go ahead and find that. I happen to have some music already with my uh, that I use for... Uh, from Keith O'Sullivan. What I did is I just downloaded the videos with Torch Browser and then I took and I cut the the audio off of them. Um, and then I'm going to use that. So we're going to go ahead and drop that down and we're going to go ahead and open up Audacity. Okay, we're going to hope we got Audacity open and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab some music here. Um, I want to do three songs, so I think, um, I'm going to use this one, not this one, this one. I'm going to use this one first, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to drag that out of my folder, and I'm going to drop it on Audacity. You can actually use the open feature on Audacity, but... This works too. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this. Wow, that was really loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and we'll go to select all and I'm going to click on the effect tab Right here, I'm going to go to Amplify. I'm going to click on the Allow Clipping. And we are going to make this much lower. We'll take in minus 20 decibels. Should about do it. Let's go ahead and preview that. Sounds pretty good. Let's let, take a listen again. Let's, uh, I'm going to apply the amplifier and let's see how it sounds now. Oh, well, that's a little better. Now, we could do the actually do that one more time. I'm gonna go to amplify, and this time I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna make it minus 5.00. And I'm gonna push OK, let it do its thing, and that'll that'll take the music down just a little bit more. because we don't really want it too loud. Yeah, that'll work. We'll see how it comes out in game. All right, so you're not gonna want any more than about three minutes of music on, on anything that you use because the game doesn't like it when you get too much. So I'm gonna go to three and just to, um, 
make sure that I get a full three minutes down here in the left hand corner says selection start. I'm going to change these values here to zero so it's at three. And then I'm going to select all of this to the end. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. Now, um, I want I want this to fade out because of what it's gonna what's gonna happen because I I cut it off about so far it's just gonna end. Well, that's no good. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna select that there and I'm gonna go up here to the effect button again and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna fade it out and go back to the beginning and move this out so I can see what I'm looking at that looks good and we're gonna go ahead take a listen that sounds good now let's go to the end okay that fades out correctly so this piece of music is done, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export audio. You can see that I already got a couple here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of those. and let it do its thing and I'm gonna get rid of this one because I'm gonna redo these just because I had these had this music at minus um, about minus 25 decibels because it was so loud you you kinda have to play with it okay so this is gonna be zero one we're gonna call this dragonborn all one word and we're gonna save that okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a couple more pieces of music and then we'll go ahead and go in and I'll show you how to use it use the XWM uh, program okay so I've got uh, I've got a uh, multi XWM installed so I'm going to open that program and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put these three files into uh, multi XWM. So I'm going to click on add files and you can see it's already there at, at my folder. Basically you just navigate to where you saved your pieces of music. I'm going to open all three of those and I am going to just make sure that it's 48 kilobytes which is the default that's what we want and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click start now it's gonna take this here and it tells me that everything's good job one finished job two finished job three finished okay so that's done now we have to find our XWM files those are in whatever file location you put XWM in, in. In this case, I have it in a programs folder, and that will be in the output folder. And right there they are. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take and I'm going to pull these all over here like this. Just copy them over. I'm going to leave those in the output output folder so if I lose something it's not that big of a deal okay so I've got my wave files and my XWM files so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop that folder down and I need my Skyrim data folder now Skyrim data doesn't come with the folder you're gonna need Skyrim doesn't so you're gonna have to make a new folder and we're gonna call that music music there we go and I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a new folder inside of music and I'm just gonna call it 
WOS because it's for some it's for the mod I'm working on and I'm gonna open that up put that right over there and I'm gonna open where I got these files stored so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna drag them over and copy them into the Skyrim data folder and that's what there is to that now let's go into CK and I'll show you how to build the music tracks okay here we are in the creation kit I've got my project open I've been working on my studio project now this will work for legendary edition and special edition I'm doing this in special edition but everything I do here will work in legendary edition um, first thing you want to do absolute first thing you want to do go to your data folder copy your plugin copy and you want to make a backup of your plugin make sure you do this okay we got the plugin backed up now if you're making a new world space you want to do this process prior to building the world space because if you try to add the music to the world space after you've already built it what will happen is is the game will crash when you try to go to the world space I don't know why that is but that's what happens I, I figured that out on one of my live stream build live streams so but with interior cells no big deal all right so you click on the audio you're going to want to open this up and you want to going to want to go to music track now what we're going to need is a single track so the easy way to do this is to go on down and find one of the explore tracks um i'm going to use explore night and what this is going to do is just going to open this up here you can see that it has conditions i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click those off right now so there's no conditions um if you are doing like a new world space or something you can use the explore conditions for and have nighttime music but yeah but this is for an interior cell so this is a little bit different and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to rename this with my naming convention and i'm going to call this music track I could only learn how to spell music track zero one I'm gonna call this one Valhalla right so that's good right there and I'm gonna choose file and if it takes you to just your data folder like that you go to the music you go to your folder and I'm gonna grab this one actually we're going to rename this one we're going to call this one dragonborn so i'm going to change the end of it i haven't i haven't saved it yet so this is not a big deal and what that'll do is it'll point that to that one and you've changed the forms editor id creating yes so now that I have the first one made, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to change this one here. And I'm going to change the ID to Valhalla. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose that there. That's fine. And yes, I want to create a new form. And the last one will be three and I'm gonna call this one Aurora call right and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose this one here and I'm just gonna do three of them on there on here for now there'll be more on the there'll be more that I add later 
But for right now, I'm going to do these three. So yes, I'm going to do that. Now I want to go to music type. And let's see, we'll try this one. No. We're going to go ahead and make a mu new music type. I'll right click, click on new. And I'm going to call it M9 underscore. Now I'm going to call this Embassy Music. Actually, I'm going to call this um, WOS. And I want to music and I want to call it type at the end so I know what it is. Music type. Just like that. I'm going to leave the priority at 50. And I'm going to click the cycle tracks button. Um, you can actually have it maintain the track order. In this case, I'm going to have it cycle track. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click in the box underneath and I'm going to choose each of my music tracks just like this. Okay, and I'm going to save. Make sure you save a lot because it's still the creation kit even if you're using special edition. It's still the creation kit. Okay, once that's saved, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up. I'm going to click on the world here. I'm going to go to cells. I'm in the interior. So it's got the location here, music type. I'm going to click on my, I'm going to go to music type and I'm in the drop down menu. I'll click my music type. I'm going to push apply. I'm going to go here where it says music type default. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to set the music to type to my new music type. Okay. And I'll do the same thing with the last one. Always remember to click apply. Okay. And remember to save your work. All right, we got that done. So let's go ahead and I'll see you in game and we'll test to see if this works. Okay, real quick, before we go in and show you that it works in game, this is part of making sure that it works. Go to this music folder that you made in the Skyrim data folder, and you're going to want to go ahead and delete the WAV files. They're huge, don't need them, so we'll delete them. So that'll give us the XVM files. All right, now let's go in game and check to make sure this works. Okay, here we are outside of my player home project that I've been working on. And we're going to go inside and check to make sure that this music works inside of the house. Uh, my horse over there, Thunder Nuts, he's chilling out in the stable. So we'll go in the house and see if it works. And we'll go ahead and take a seat right here and take a listen. Well, it took a while, but you can hear it. Yep, there it is. It took a little while for it to get started, but that's because my, uh, that's because of, uh, the fade in. So, yeah, it works in here. So we will go on down to the ba the embassy basement.
And since it's the same music track, it should just continue playing. It's kind of the idea. Yep. It continued playing, so we'll go on down through here. We'll open this door here and go in here. Plus, you're getting a little preview of what I'm working on. Everything looks good there. And the door should close right after me because of my auto closed door. And we'll go to the underkeep, which is a whole nother cell, which I added the music type to as well. And this is the underkeep. And everything seems to be working fine. And this is my new photo studio. A little preview of the scenes I'm setting up here. This is a real cool trick. Waterfall on a button. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, and works just fine. It's not too loud. It's gonna be the uh, sound effects from the waterfalls covering it up, but that's all right. You can make it louder if you want, um, up the decibels. You can go, basically what you do is you go back in audacity and uh, amplify it and redo the XV, XWM files. But yeah, that's about all there is to that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I uh, hope it really helped. And remember, if you guys want want to support, help support the channel, the biggest thing you can do is push like and then share it and subscribe. Or if you'd like to help out the channel in other ways, look down in the description. You'll find links to do all that down there. Or on YouTube, you can push the join button to join as a channel member. All right, guys. Until next time, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.